London's hotspots for vegan and vegetarian cuisine, the deputy manager Louis is going to be showing me around and giving me a good idea of how to eat a healthy, happy, balanced vegan diet whilst I'm out and about. Let's go and find him. predominantly a vegetarian restaurant but as yes. friends of veganuary you know that we're all about being vegan in january right. so how much of your food is actually vegan well basically what we do normally we got 25 different kind of salads and 12 hot dishes normally we go per month we go three days that they are completely vegan the whole food in the food boat that gives you an idea that no, in those three days, each day, is 100% vegan, the whole restaurant, the whole selection. But if you come in a day that is not a vegan day, normally I would say it's like 75%. That means you go as a vegan, you're going to have plenty of options or that. So one of the great things about Tibbets is that you have a variety of food from all over the world. Do you think that's um, contributed to your popularity within the vegan community? Absolutely, I think uh, the the the, fa the factor that London is a multicultural city helped us to develop more our food and the popularity that the restaurant has, especially when we, we because we pay pay attention a lot to our customers so the feedback and they, they are really especially the vegan community they are really loud and then when they want to say something they really say it and we pay attention is kind of like a tool for us to develop our all our food and the options that we're gonna give to them. So I'm originally Nigerian and we love our meat and now that I'm doing this vegan challenge I can't eat meat anymore which was the major source of my protein so what are my options in terms of having a balanced diet that involves protein? It's a common question from like meat eaters basically because um, they say okay where well, are we going to get all the proteins that normally we get from the, from the meat but they don't even realize that it's in all the vegetables, like like carrots, like potatoes, uh, even parsley. Parsley actually has more protein than the actual meat. Okay, so this is my favorite bit. Every time I go out, I love to have dessert, but obviously being vegan now, I can't have dairy. So what options do you have um, in your desserts that are vegan friendly? We got the, our homemade cakes. We got the mm. mango coconut cake. Nice. which is really popular. We got the lemon drizzle cake, that, which is really, really popular as well. My mouth is like watering already. Right. <laughs> and obviously we go for the healthy conscience vegans. We go our selection of fruits as well. Thank you so much, Louis. My Honestly, pleasure. you've helped me out tremendously, but I think it's time for me to try out all that good food, especially the dessert. All right. <laughs> Okay, so the food looks delicious. I've literally had to ask someone what all these are because it's, you can see like the L, the O's, the G's and I've been told the ones that say V are vegan. So it means I can have a potato chestnut ragu. I'm not sure if that, that's how you say it, but it looks good anyway. So I'm going to have it. It looks very yummy. Gosh, that looks really nice. I don't even know what's in it. Oh, that's cheese. <laughs> Can't have that. Uh, how about... excited to taste some of this stuff because a lot of this I haven't actually had before like falafel it looks really nice um, and I've never had it before so I'm gonna taste it for the very first time I may not like it what happens if I don't like it mm. it's funny actually just looking at my plate how different it looks to what it would normally look like because I'd have like half the plate covered in meat and stuff and everything here is vegan and that's hard to believe because it looks really really tasty and it's just you know things like carrots and potatoes and well falafel I've already said um, and I just can't wait to eat it all. Oh. 